I, I remember even now I had this great sense of anticipation that what would it be like when you first step on Ali Bethany Meadows and maybe after three hours or three and a half hours of trekking and then there was this deep dark forest and suddenly it gave away. To this uh, meadows which I couldn't believe existed and could exist in this planet. I, I was standing in this front of this rolling meadows which went on for miles. And I just stood there transfixed. Is this real? Is this possible? Even though we had an idea, even though we read about it, but when I saw those meadows, I was just blown. Because suddenly you see endless greenery, soft grass with the sun on it, you know, at an angle and small, small flowers. It was like, was I in Wonderland, you know? You know, the contrast is terrific snow-covered mountain peaks, the biggest mountains in our country, and then this lush green meadows right in front, and that you have climbed up through a forest. So this contrast in that span of very short span, and once you get on the meadows, it's not difficult any longer. You can just walk and roll around and take long walks, you, uh, you and you and the mountains alone. You don't get this on tracks. I mean, these are moments we I crave for. All around me, all I could see was flowers. It was just wild flowers everywhere, on my left, on my right, on all directions. And at that point in time, all I wanted to do was just drop my bag and run around the meadows. The entire lush greenery that you see and the kutti kutti horses that keep running over there, that is something you can only think about watching them in maybe movies or looking at a photo frame over there, but when you're actually there and you get to witness this first hand, I think there is no better uh, experience that you can have when you go for a Himalayan trip. I think the section from Ali top going till the Z point, which leads uh, to Bedni Bugyal, oh my, how beautiful it looks. Trishul and Nanda Gunti stand in the background and you are walking towards these two mountains uh, on these meadows, my favourite section. The oak and the rhododendron forest that we have here, these are the densest in this part of the country. And the sunlight streams in through this forest in very interesting angles, it plays tricks on you. It's something so enchanting to look at. The other most beautiful part would be the Gheroli Patal forest section. Um, it, it, they are like manicured oak forests because the trees are placed at exact um, uh, the intervals that anyone would have planted them to be at. So when you are descending and going towards one, you come close to the Latu Devta temple and here you see the most amazing trees that you will ever see in your life, possibly. They are massive, they are huge, they are just spectacular. Several of us stood around and held hands and we, we still were not able to go around the tree, like maybe five, six of us. One of the trees was that huge. One of the best mountain views in our entire country, you're going to get it from Bethany Meadows, of Mount Trishul and Mount Nanda Gunti standing alongside each other. The entire shape of the mountain comes out of the meadows. And it is at that angle where the sun rises from behind it and the sun sets on it. a natural geographical alignment, I think it is just made in heaven. 
you can just imagine that you have this entire meadows which is lit by the golden sun and the mountains of Trishul and Nandagonti spotless, no, cl no clouds at all and absolutely bright and shining uh, in this evening golden sun and then I was alone. Oh my god, you could, I could just go into tears at that point of time. Ali Bedni trek is one of the most photogenic trek. The meadows itself, you can take a thousand angles on these meadows and you'll still not be satisfied because your camera can only capture that much. What your eyes can capture on those meadows, I don't think anything matches up to that. You will never ever see meadows like the Ali Bedni combined meadows. It's one of the best in a country and there must not be any two thoughts because you don't get to see them. It's a very rare thing in trekking. And just to see this, you must do this trek. It is one of the most beautiful. I would say it is the most beautiful meadow trek that I have done so far.